Hi, I'm April Golightly, and today we're going to be talking about an hourglass figure and the do's and don'ts of what to wear when you're an hourglass. Let's get started. When you're an hourglass figure, your chest and shoulder area is about equal to your hip area, and then your waist pinches in, so creating an hourglass shape. So you're heavy on top, smaller waist and then heavier on the bottom and this is what they say the ideal shape is or the shape that you want people want to create when they're looking to dress people well as an hourglass figure i gotta tell you that it's not as easy as people think it is because usually you have other issues you know sometimes ideally you know that tiny little waist has no belly underneath it and you know ideally you can find bras. Um, it's like, at the end of the day, honestly, it's as with everything else, It's it comes with its problems. And today we're gonna be talking about the do's and don'ts of finding the right things for you. When you're kind of curvy, you're kind of petite, you know, you but you are an hourglass. So let's get into it. And my first best tip is to wear V-necks. So that, that's my go-to is to look for a V-neck. I'm wearing one right now. Um, everything that I'm talking about today is gonna be linked down below. So if you're looking for something, if I can't find it, if, I, if it's not currently available, I'll try to find something similar to it. Wearing a V-neck top absolutely opens up the chest and makes you look taller and thinner as an hourglass figure. It just kind of breaks up your breast area and just makes you look thinner. Here I'm tucking it in and it just looks fabulous, bringing attention to the smallest part of my body. The V actually acts kind of like an arrow pointing towards the waist. You can choose the depth of your V based on your modesty level. If you have a large chest, you don't have to go super, super deep with it. It just depends on how you're feeling and what you're comfortable with. Here I'm saying the crew neck versus the V neck. I'm definitely pro the v-neck, but I know a lot of us have crew necks in our wardrobe, so I'm not saying to get rid of all the crew necks in your wardrobe, but to me, it definitely creates like a uniboob situation when you're large chested. So the v-neck is just a little bit more flattering and a little bit more feminine and more comfortable to wear, but I'm still covering a ton there's not a ton of cleavage here so it's super cute and i kind of side tucked it so that it's still covering my stomach for a while during the pandemic i was getting a t-shirt subscription and i was getting t-shirts every single month and they did fit me and they're super comfortable but they just do not look good on my body type. So whatever, if you have t-shirts, wear them, be comfortable in them, that's awesome. But for me, I would say we can do better. So skip the loose fitting t-shirt and grab a fitted t-shirt. If you're going to do a crew neck top, definitely go for a more fitted one if you're an hourglass figure. You can also, make it even better by wearing a very long necklace that goes past your boob area so that you're kind of creating that like streamlined line and kind of pointing to your waist. You can also create a really nice vertical line by throwing out a cardigan. The goal here is to kind of have the cardigan not be covering your breast area but kind of creating space so that you can see your waistline that way it's not like bulking you up here it's kind of just skimming the body on the side and creating a nice vertical line down my next tip for an hourglass figure is to create longer legs by wearing nude shoes. I do this all the time and honestly I've been kind of getting rid of all of my my you know bright colored and even black shoes lately. As you can see here, excuse my messy floor, um, basically it looks so much better to wear the like nude pinkish shoes rather than the black shoes. I just look thinner with the basic like flesh colored shoes here i think it just makes a huge difference for a while i've been gravitating towards nude shoes and now i know why 
Another top that I find like all over the place is a tunic top. I really love them. They're super comfortable. Um, this one is from Ann Taylor, but I have a ton of them. But I feel like you can do better with them. You can make this like shapeless tunic top that doesn't create a waist on you, kind of hides your waist as an hourglass figure and kind of do a partial tuck on it. Um, so that it kind of hides your belly a little bit, but also creates a waist at the same time. And then also you can do it so that you can roll up your sleeves so that when you roll up your sleeves, you're actually kind of pointing to your waist in a way. So you put your sleeves, you roll your sleeves up to the point where your waist is so that it kind of pulls the eye into the waist area. This is kind of an optical illusion, but it totally works for hourglass figures, kind of everybody, honestly. As an hourglass figure, you can actually wear these like bodycon dresses. And I love me some bodycon dresses because they show off your curves and they show off that shape of the hourglass. But I have a stomach. So even though I have a smaller waist and I'm considering an hourglass, I still have this stomach here. So what you can do with that, you can hide it with shapewear, which I'm not doing here, but just here's some other ways besides shapewear to kind of make it look better. So you throw on a actual belt on the waist area, your natural smallest point to like call attention. Hey, I have a tiny waist, look at my tiny waist. Also, you can create some optical illusions by throwing on a kimono or a cardigan and creating like a long line down the middle. So you can wear, do both of these together or you can do it separately and it looks fantastic. So I would say do throw on a belt with a, a dress and absolutely do not just rock a, you know, shapeless, it depends. If you have no stomach, then you could probably wear a bodycon dress without a belt. It just depends on your specific body type within the hourglass because there are so many different types of hourglasses out there. You know, there are teeny tiny zero hourglasses and there are, you know, 16, you know, plus size hourglasses, you know, size 20s hourglasses. So it's up to you, whatever you're feeling. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy doing these videos. I like talking about having a big bust and helping women flatter that big bust and not feel uncomfortable. Also just finding the right outfits for your body shape. Thank you guys again and check out my other videos with this playlist here.